how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. God bless. Live stream tomorrow as uh, the first at 9 p.m. I hope you're all doing well. God bless. Just as we were talking about um, the cyber attack, they, this was just a few minutes ago, 32 minutes ago, they're talking about cyber attack. Just what we're thinking, what we're talking about. The stock market. They're already talking about the crash. This was a couple days ago, but they're already talking about the stock market's down. Uh, Russian and the U.S. stock market is down. It's crashing. As we expected, it will keep going down. So I want to go over this today because this is very important, as I have been saying all along. Matthew chapter 6, it says, Jesus told you, be in secret, the Father which seeth you in secret rewards you openly, right here. Let's go over this. Jesus said this in Luke chapter 12. Luke chapter 12 is very important. It tells you everything. In Luke chapter 12, Jesus tells you the same thing. It says, what will be spoken and, and heard in the light? It says, that whichever is spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which is spoken in the ear in the closets, closets shall be proclaimed on the housetops. This is very important. So Jesus said this again. In Luke chapter 12, when he's talking about when he comes, and the hypocrites when he comes. He's talking about when he comes. He says right here, what will be spoken in the closets shall be proclaimed on the housetops. Just as he said in Matthew chapter 6 right here. Just as I have been saying. Just as closet right here, Jesus says this in Luke chapter 12, 3. Right here, just as I showed you, proclaimed on the housetops. This is where we're supposed to pray. Pray in secret to the Father. The Father which seeth you in secret rewards you openly. Now let's talk about this, because I saw this today from my brother Daniel. This is why I watch Daniel's channel. I agree with Daniel totally. Okay. We're supposed to, he put this out. Great job, Daniel. You are greatly appreciated. Be sober. Right here. He says right here. In four, it says hypocrites. Be left with the unbelievers. I have said this all along. Great job, Daniel. Daniel put it in this pictograph. He's a lot more talented than me. So he did here. I agree. What is a hypocrite? Okay. What is a hypocrite is Jesus' definition. He tells you in Luke chapter 12 what a hypocrite is. And I have said Luke chapter 12 is very important. It says right here, ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky and the earth, but how is it that you do not discern this time? He's talking about when he comes. He's talking that you're a hypocrite if you are into the world and being drunkard with the drunkards. He's talking if you cannot discern this time, you're, he called the hypocrites, he called the Pharisees hypocrites too when they didn't even see their Messiah standing right in front of their face. He called them a hypocrite too. So his definition of what he's calling a hypocrite is, is he's talking about when you cannot discern this time. Luke chapter 12 is very important. He says, who is that faithful and wise servant that will come? I come to send fire on earth. He says right here, blessed is that servant when I come, come shall find doing. He's talking about watching. Blessed is that servant of the Lord when he comes shall find him doing. Doing, watching. 
And then he tells you the difference between if you aren't watching, he will put your portion with the hypocrites and non-believers. That's exactly what Daniel's got here. Great job, Daniel. So, let's see. What am I going to talk about now? My uh, Joel. Joel. Okay. I had this in my last video, and it's kind of... I do have a long video. I have two more of them, but hopefully I don't have to ever put them out. But uh, as I showed you... In here, this has happened all through the Bible. This talks about the first month. He says about the northern army. He will put them, he, he will remove them far off, right here. He will remove them far off. As I told you before, there's a blessing and there's a curse. This, he's, right here, it talks about, uh, it talks about the rain moderately in the first month. Right here, the Lord, he will give the former and latter rain come down in the first month. This is all through the Bible. It's a blessing and a curse. He's giving them, he's telling them, don't be afraid. He's going to provide for them. He's going to provide for them right here. He will give them wheat. This is the same thing that happened right here as I have showed before. Right here. Right here, it talks about this. Right here. As I showed, you can watch this video for yourself. It's a great video. Um, Habakkuk, he was told, don't worry. God was going to take care of them. God destroyed all these soldiers, and he gave them exactly as it says in Joel. Right here, he will, he will provide food for them. There's another thing about this, too. What did this happen right here? What happened? This is what happened. His royal spokesman made what he thought was a factly case for Hezekiah and his people to open their gates and... Hezekiah. Surrender. First, Egypt was a useless ally who would not deliver them. This was true. Second, he was certain that the people of Judah had enraged their God by destroying worship sites. That is, the forbidden high places and altars that Hezekiah had demolished. Of Hear that? He demolished. He demolished the idols. This is exactly the same thing that happens right here in, in Micah chapter 4. This is only one place, but there's many other ones. I will destroy the idols, the sacred stones, among you, and, and no longer bow down in works of thy hands. This is in Micah chapter 4, but in Micah chapter, Micah chapter, or excuse me, this is Micah chapter 5. But in Micah chapter 4, it's Babylon's destroyed and we are redeemed from the hands of our enemies. That's Micah chapter 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 4. But in Micah, the, the first of Micah chapter 4, all the idols will be destroyed. It's right here. I will know this is obelisk. This is all around the world. Just as have a Hezekiah did right here, just as Hezekiah did right here, he demolished all of them, and he was, he was, uh, this is what Jesus is going to do, right here, yeah, this is a real good video, and, uh, like I said, I hope you're all doing well, I wanted to have a short video, I have a couple more videos, like I said, and in here, he told, Hezekiah, don't worry that he was going to provide yes, for him. Hezekiah was correct to demolish them. He, he, he told Hezekiah in here that uh, um, that uh, he would provide for him and that he didn't have to worry. This is the same thing as it says in Joel, Joel chapter 2. And this is in the first month. Okay, the former and latter reign in the first month. 
So this is when we leave. And uh, I hope you're all doing well. This is just an update video. And uh, like I said, um, we'll see what happens. But we'll be live tomorrow. I will probably put out my video Friday. Because I'm going to wait a few days. We got um, praise and worship tomorrow at 9 p.m. And then uh, Friday, I will put out my new video. Um, long video. But yeah, this is very important. As I showed you here, this is the most important. Pray in your closet. Prayer closet. Your room, your bedroom, wherever. Matthew chapter 6. Jesus tells you where to pray to the Father in secret. He tells you right here, the hypocrites, what a hypocrite is. As it says down here. A hypocrite is somebody that what, he discerned the face of the sky, but you cannot discern this time. He, you, he calls you a hypocrite because... He gave you all these warnings in the Bible. He gave you all these warnings of when he's coming. If you can't discern that time, he will put your portion with the hypocrites and non-believers. And that's exactly what Daniel was saying here, which I agree with him totally, right here. So, like I said, if you want to listen to this video right here, it's a very good video. It talks about, all, this is, happens all through the Bible. Moses was told the same thing when he left Egypt. This is, this is exactly the same story all through the Bible. The exact same pattern. Um, so, like I said, I will be live tomorrow. I hope you're all doing well. And God bless you all.